Hello everybody, this is Gage Williams, and we are going to be doing a Let's Play of V, or the letter V six times, or VVVVVV, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Uh, we are going, I have a very interesting idea for what to do in this Let's Play. Uh, not certain if it's going to go through that way or not, but we are going to try it out. Uh, basically, it involves a bit of a competition of sorts, where I'm going to run through the game first, because I have a lot of experience with this game. I love VVV, VVV a lot, and I've played it through a few times. And uh, my two friends that uh, have done Let's Plays with me, as you uh, are likely well aware of, they have not played this game, and they both have it. So I want to set up something involving a bit of a run-through competition between the two, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, for now... We're going to start a new game. We're going to jump right in. Uh-oh. Is everything okay? No, we've hit some kind of interference. Something's wrong. We're going to crash. Evacuate. Oh no, everyone off the ship. This shouldn't be happening. Phew, that was scary. At least we all escaped, right guys? Guys? Welcome aboard. Okay, so this is VVV VVV. It is a platformer where uh, it's focused around the mechanics of, as you saw up there, press action to flip, gravity shifting. There is no actual jump in this game. There are only two controls, moving and flipping. And technically, if you don't use the uh, space bar for flipping, because you can use the arrows instead, which is what I'm doing. Uh, technically you have to press space to talk to people, but that's pretty irrelevant. And, uh, it's a section where you have to go by flipping, yeah. I wonder why the ship teleported me here alone. I hope everyone else got out okay. Solitude. Okay, so as you might notice at the bottom screen, whenever you're in official levels, because there are two sections of VVV, VVV, there is space, and there are predestined levels. The levels are named Space Is Not. And these stop sign abominations are enemies. They will kill you in one touch. You will spawn back at that C checkpoint there. Atmospheric filtering unit. Gonna check down here. It's a secret to nobody, Zelda reference. Or parody, I should say. These are shiny trinkets. They are bonus collectibles that... Uh, well, you'll find out what they unlock in a little bit. Uh, we are going to be trying to get all of those. There are two in particular that I am not looking forward to. Linear Collider. Almost everyone has been evacuated from the space station now. The rest of us are leaving in a couple of days once our research has been completed. These. You'll find these scattered throughout space in some of the levels. Occasionally, when you find one, they will open up a new path for you so you don't have to try and find it. Security sweep, and it should become pretty obvious, but almost everything that you see flying around in these levels will kill you in one hit, just so you know. Gantry and Dolly. See, this is a platform, I believe this is a breakaway one, which aren't indicated. Yep. Help, can anyone hear this message? Verdigris? I don't know how to pronounce that. Are you out there? Are you okay? Please help us, we've crashed and need assistance. Violet, is that you? Captain, you're okay. Something has gone horribly wrong with the ship's teleporter. I think everyone has been teleported away randomly. They could be anywhere. Oh no. I'm on the ship. It's damaged badly, but it's still intact. Where are you, Captain? I'm on some sort of space station. It seems pretty modern. There seems to be some sort of interference in this dimension. Now here is our map. Uh, where we are right now, those are all places we've seen, and the yellow background indicates that it is part of an actual level with named uh, screens. The rest of the map, which we'll get to later, will just be gray dash black, and that indicates space, and any other colored area indicates a place of interest. I'm broadcasting the coordinates of the ship to you now. See, that's where our ship is, that's where we're trying to get. I can't teleport you back, but if you can find a teleporter anywhere nearby, you should be able to teleport back to me. And there's the teleporter. Okay, I'll try to find one. Good luck, Captain. I'll keep trying to find the rest of the crew. Okay. 
So we need to find the teleporter, which is not too far off. The Yes Men. It reminds me a lot of an old cartoon I used to watch called uh, Kappa Mikey, I believe it was called. There was a character on there who was absolutely ridiculous called the Yes Man. If anybody remembers that, let me know so that I don't feel like I have some kind of weird sense of nostalgia. Oh, it's another one of those shiny things. I probably don't really need it, but it might be nice to take it back to the ship to study. Trench Warfare. Ow, oh, I didn't move. There's our first death. I was hoping to get through this first stage without any deaths, but... Oh well. Uh, we could have gone right there, but I'd like to rather just play it a bit safe. Now, if we wanted to, I could just kill one of these. I'll ke I would keep the trinket. We're trying to get as few deaths as possible here, so we're gonna... Ah, it didn't even matter. Yeah, see, and if I go back, I still have it. So you don't have to worry about that. I should have gone. Press enter to view the quick map and... Or the quick map and... Ha! The map and quick save. Here on the map, you can check the crew. You can check your stats. Two deaths there. You can press action to save your game. Uh, we're not going to do that quite yet. Press enter again. You can close out of that. Oh, that was close. I should have died there. Bo -bo 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 busted Sensible room. Ooh. Thriller. Sorrow. See, I've, I've played this before, so I know... I know the layout for the most part. There are a few sections I might not remember, but... There it was just telling you, you can press up and down if you want to flip, instead of just taking space every time. It's a ghost! Those were spikes, not a ghost. Touch that ghost. I'm starting to do terribly. I swear I'm normally better at this game. I don't know why I'm hesitating so much. <coughs> and there we go, a teleporter. I can get back to the ship with this. <coughs> game saved. Uh, we can press enter to teleport. But we're gonna wait and do that in the next video. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna quick save. Oh, gotta press action. There we go. And here are our stats. Uh, that is going to do it for this video. Uh, going to continue the rest... Uh, well, actually, no. I suppose... No, I, I want to keep playing. I suppose we can go a little bit farther. We don't have too much time remaining, I don't think, if I'm timing this correctly. Captain. And there we've completed the first level. You've rescued a crew member. Four remain. So, Doctor, have you any idea what caused the crash? There's some sort of bizarre signal here that's interfering with our equipment. It caused the ship to lose its quantum position, collapsing us into this dimension. Oh no! But I think we should be able to fix the ship and get out of here. As long as we can find the rest of the crew. We really don't know anything about this place. Our friends could be anywhere. They could be lost or in danger. Can they teleport back here? Not unless they find some way to communicate with us. We can't pick up their signal and they can't teleport here unless they know where the ship is. So what do we do? We need to find them. Head out into the dimension and look for anywhere they might have ended up. Okay, where do we start? Well, I've been trying to find them with the ship scanners. It's not working, but I did find something. Those are places of interest, and uh, if I remember right, those all indicate teleporters. This, these points show up on our scans as having high energy patterns. There is a good chance they're teleporters, yep, see? Which means they're probably built near something important. They could be a very good place to start looking. Okay, I'll head out and see what I can find. I'll be right here if you need any help. Okay, so uh, we're just going to look through some of the ship's things. Uh, we're not going to advance any farther in the video today. We're going to wait until the next installment, but we can look around the ship first. The DSS Soli, Ship Navigation Controls. Uh, for those that you don't know, Soli is the name of the musician who created uh, the sound, the, well, the music in this game. Very good chiptune stuff in here. 
Error, error. Cannot all isolate dimensional coordinates. Interference detected. Ship radio status broadcasting. Oh, wrong button. Never mind. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed, Doctor. Where do I begin? Remember that you can press enter to check where you are on the map. Look for areas that where the rest of the crew might be. If you get lost, you can get back to the ship from any teleporter. Don't worry, we'll find everyone. Everything will be okay. Here. Now, I've already, uh... This is where your unlockables for collecting all the stuff are. Since I've already beaten the game and gotten all the collectibles, I have all these. What they are, well, they're just songs. They're different songs that you can play. See, we're playing Passion for Exploring, Pushing Onwards, Positive Fourths, etc. This seems like a good place to store those shiny things. Victoria loves to study the interesting things we find on our adventures. I hope she's okay. Yes, this is where your trinkets are stored. There are 20 of them in total. And down here to the left, we have a teleporter so that you can quickly get to any other teleporter that you discover. And to the right, we have a exhaust port that leads space, which we are going to go into next time and get a lot of space exploration done with. So thank you for watching, I hope you stay tuned for the rest of the series, I big plans for this game, I love this game a lot, and we will see you next time for BBB.